All right, so we've got hopefully a short one here today. Um, it's a clip from Nehru's playing randomizer a couple of days ago. Um, in the randomizer ROM hack, um, when you enter the bongo fight, the flag is already set in your save file so that the cutscene skips most of the beginning of it. Um, in normal gameplay, this would only happen if you died in the boss fight or save and quit and went back to the boss room. Uh, but anyway. They jump slash really late, and this causes the cutscene to play in full, which is not supposed to happen here in Rando. So that's the weird thing that's going on here. Um, so let's see what's happening here. Uh, I'm going to walk through some code first just to explain how it works in general and then see what the problem is. So the cutscene in general is handled by this really large function. There's basically a timer that's ticking down. And depending on what range that timer is at, different parts of the cutscene will play. And so this block right here specifically is when you fall and the camera changes. That's what this block of interest here is. Now, um, what happens is it waits for Link to hit the ground. He'll hit the, he'll hit the drum and bounce once. On that first bounce, uh, it will run this block, which will rumble the controller, play a sound effect, and trigger that it's ready. And then he'll hit the ground again, and on that second bounce, if on that second bounce that save, uh, that save flag that I talked about is set, it will set the timer to 178 and skip a bunch of the cutscene. So this is what we want to happen when the cutscene is skipped. But uh, we will see that jump slashing prevents that. So, let's just do a little bit of demonstration here. I have added code to the game with decomp to print these timer values. So you'll see if I just walk into the hole, you'll see I bounced on the ground at 568, and then again at 551. So that's 17 frames in between two bounces, and on bounce five on the bounce on frame 551 is when it skipped a lot of the cutscene. Now, let's do that again, but jump slash early. It's a little interesting because bounce one is at 569 and because this timer is counting down this is one frame faster this happens because jump slashing has a slightly different acceleration than just falling normally um but it's kind of weird because once the cutscene starts once the camera pans away and it starts it zeroes link's velocity and then he builds up velocity again so even though you reached terminal velocity while falling down initially, once you hit that range and the cutscene changes and the or the camera changes and the cutscene starts, you get zero Y velocity and you have to build it back up again. So because of that change, jump slashing before you even hit the cutscene does matter for how soon you hit the ground. Now this is more of an interesting fact. It doesn't matter for this bug that I'm trying to explain. It also doesn't save time in a speedrun because the cutscene's gonna wait for a certain timer value anyway. It's just cool. Anyway, back to the main point. Um, the important thing to know is that when you fall in this cutscene, it takes 17 frames from the first bounce on the drum to the second bounce. So, I'm going to edit myself uh, doing a trying to get a frame perfect jump slash over and over again. Okay, here we are. So, the cutscene is now playing in full even though the flag is set. So, what happened here? I, my first bounce on the ground was on frame 562. And you remember, 17 frames, right? Let me pull up a calculator, just so we can see. 562 minus 17 frames. That leaves me on frame 545. That means... The second bounce I make on that drum is on frame 545. If we look back at the code, they have here a pretty arbitrarily chosen value of 546. Right here and right here. So essentially what happens is, um, you're falling down the hole and you jump slash so late that this timer has already started counting and it takes many frames for Link to pull the sword out and do his whole ordeal that by the time you hit the ground, too much of that timer has already expired. 
And so you land on your first bounce on frame 562. And then when the second bounce would run and run this block here, which skips the part of the cutscene, you're already on frame 545. So you have moved on from this block here to this block. So essentially this pretty arbitrarily chosen value was one frame off to account for a really late jump slash. Um, there is no problems if the rando people want to implement this. You can simply change this to 545 and 545, and that fixes it completely. Um, the cutscene will work as intended normally, and a late jump slash won't uh, have this issue. It was just a pretty unfortunate one value off arbitrarily chosen value. Um, that's really all there is to it. Um, and that's really it. So, see ya.